The old house on Willow Street had always been the subject of whispers in our small town. Tales of strange happenings and ghostly apparitions had circulated for years, but being the skeptic that I was, I never paid them much mind. That is, until the day I stepped foot inside. It was a dare, really. A group of friends and I, emboldened by bravado and teenage recklessness, decided to spend the night in the abandoned mansion to prove once and for all that the stories were nothing more than idle gossip. As we entered the house, a chill swept through me, causing the hairs on the back of my neck to stand on end. The air was heavy with the scent of decay, and the floorboards creaked beneath our weight as we made our way through the dimly lit foyer. We laughed nervously as we explored the dusty corridors, our footsteps echoing off the walls like the whispers of ghosts long gone. But as the night wore on, the atmosphere grew increasingly oppressive and the laughter faded into uneasy silence. That's when we heard it, the soft sound of footsteps echoing from somewhere deep within the house. My heart hammered in my chest as we followed the sound, our flashlight beams cutting through the darkness like knives. As we rounded a corner, we came face to face with a figure standing in the shadows, a woman dressed in tattered clothing, her face obscured by darkness. Frozen in terror, we watched as she raised a finger to her lips, signaling for us to be silent. And then, with a suddenness that took my breath away, she vanished into thin air, leaving behind only the echo of her footsteps and the lingering chill of her presence. In that moment, I knew the stories were true. The old house on Willow Street was haunted, and we were foolish to have ever doubted it. As we fled into the night, I couldn't shake the feeling that we had disturbed something ancient and malevolent, something that would haunt my dreams for years to come.